Hi, kids, and welcome to Veggie Tales. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. And we're here to... Larry? Yes, Bob? Why are you wearing the Los Angeles Rams hat? Because I am preparing for the first game of the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is really this early for a first game of the new season. And since when did you really get into this serious type of football this fast, Larry? Didn't we done this football thing before? Yes, but this is way more different type of football, Bob. What are you talking about? Look on the bright side. There's plenty of things that you can see and don't see for seeing the first Super Bowl game. You're not making any sense, Larry. Now let's go back for a bit. Again, why are you wearing the Los Angeles Rams hat? It's for the first game of the Super Bowl, Bob. I wanted the Rams to win it. Larry, don't be this ridiculous. Now I know what is going on here. What is it? Listen to me. The Super Bowl is not the first game of the season. It only happens on February, as the final game of the season. I thought this was February. No, it's actually August. Then why didn't you say so? Because, Larry, in order to get to the Super Bowl, we must see the preseason first, and then the main season, then to the playoffs to see the wild card, and then the divisional, then seeing the American Football Conference Championship and the National Football Conference Championship, and then finally seeing the Super Bowl. Now, do you get what I'm saying, Larry? I guess you're right, Bob. But this would not feel right for waiting this long until the Super Bowl. Why is that? I just wish that the Rams can get to the Super Bowl this fast and win, because they are my favorite team. Larry, you don't have to have a favorite team to win the Super Bowl or win every single game. So say like this. Sometimes they win, and sometimes they lose. But in the end, they always feel good about it to play these many games with respected sportsmanship. Well, Bob, I think I get why you're dishonest for knowing the real football. Yes, Larry, I do know what the real football is. Though, I would say this to make you feel better. Like what? So listen, kids who is watching. When you get older, there's a thing called National Football League winning picks. This competition allows you to pick which whatever team that you wanted them to win when their game is coming up. And if the team that you pick wins a game, then you earn yourself a one point. And whoever has the most winning points by the end of the Super Bowl game wins a competition. Then you can possibly earn a trophy for being good at it. How's that sound to you? You know what, Bob? That would be fun for me. All right, Larry. We'll be ready for it. But first, we need one more friend to join the competition. How about Archibald? Sure thing. Hey, Archibald, can you come here for a second? Hold on, I'm coming. All right, I am here. What is it that you want from me? I just want to ask you, will you be willing to join the competition of National Football League winning picks? No, thank you. I'll just pass on that, because I'm not a big fan of tackle dangerous football. That's fine, Archibald. Maybe next time. Okay, then. Now I am out of here. Ah, uh, man. Archibald doesn't do football. That's okay, Larry. But I would say that the grape should join the winning picks. That's a good idea. Did somebody say winning picks for football? Yes, we did. Do you want to join the competition? Sorry, not this time. Football was excellent, but not interested for the winning picks. All right, you go on ahead. Thank you. He's also not joining the winning picks competition. There is still hope, Larry. Let's figure out the other way. I know the other way, Bob. What is it, then? I'm gonna call it the random alternate universes. What do you mean by that, Larry? You will see what I mean. Okay, I got it on this one. Then say the words, Larry. Random alternate universe number one. I want to see Mr. Yellow Man. Will you call me Mr. Yellow Man, chump? My real name is Mr. Burns. Larry, why did you bring Homer Simpson? Because he's Mr. Yellow Man. I'm Mr. Burns, and you are gonna be eating by me. When I'm done with Sugar Rush of Candy. But what about the National Football League winning picks competition? That's even better, Mr. Pickle. Watching a football game while being eating. Great idea. This is too much. I declare you banned. You're just by... Try again, Larry. Okay, I got something different. Then say it. Random alternate universe number two. I want to see an airheaded genius with the big attitude. You called in the right genies, my friend. What seems to be the problem? Hold on. You're not the one who I called. Well, I have a big attitude. Is there a problem with that? 
Yes, there's one. You're the problem. Give him a break, Larry. That's just Wallace, the cheese-loving inventor, who is also a genius. Thank you, Mr. Tomato. Actually, I'm Bob. Now, can I ask you this, Wallace? Anything for me to do it. Do you want to join us for the National Football League winning picks competition? Sure I can. Or the cheese heads, at least. Then welcome aboard. Not so fast, Bob. He's not on the list to my random alternate universe. Larry, cut that out. I see what your problem is, Mr. Kagoma. You wanted to know the real random alternate universe. Yes, I do want to know, Wallace. Who is it? This was a mistake. You were going to say that you wanted to see a life-headed machine with the big attitude. Well, how do you know that he's not on my list? That's because this guy's taking care of my problem, which is watching over Gromit. This is all bullshit. Come on, Larry. He is not that bad to join in this competition. Then I guess I have no choice. I declare you banged. Nothing seems to... He should not have come, Bob. Nice going, Larry. Who is it going to be next then for joining this competition? I don't know. It ain't personal enough for knowing this next one. It's ridiculous for how I can say it. I'm so sorry, Bob. I have no idea why this has happened. No, it's okay, Larry. I'm getting used to it. It's just that we have to keep trying and never give up on who is the real random alternate universe. You're absolutely right. Now, Larry, let's let this take its course by imagining who will be the real random alternate universe for joining the National Football League winning picks competition. Okay, let's do it. All right. What about me, boys? Who said that? That sounded like a girl. It is a girl, but who is it? Sorry about that. Did I just confuse you two? Wait a minute. Are you Jenny the Teenage Robot, the machine built by Miss Wakeman? And also the protector of the Earth. Yep, that's me. And you must be Bob and Larry. That is right. Say, Jenny, do you want to join the National Football League winning picks competition? Sure. I do remember these type of times as a player. She's, She's perfect. perfect. You are welcome aboard to attempt this challenge. I can accept it. And Jenny, bring me some lollipops while this has happened. I can never forget that. Thank you. Well, kids, as you can see, Jenny is gonna try this competition out with us. And sorry about these discussions. It can all sometimes end with a happy ending. You feel cool now, Larry? Yes, Bob, I do. All right, then. Now, Jenny, is there anything you want to say for the kids? Yes, I do know what to say. Then say it. Hello, world. Well, that's classic. I can take it. Thank you. Anyways, kids, the football preseason game will start tomorrow at August 5th, so get your snacks ready. And don't forget the lollipops. And remember, God makes you special. And he loves you very much. Wait, I want to say that myself. Well, there's no need to Jenny. Please, it's for the kids. Suit yourself, then. Okay. Remember, kids, God makes you special, and he loves you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye.